What's up, guys? Nice amount of hell. Welcome to the Diablo 4 Research Institution. I'm your host, Professor Ice Deck. Appreciate you guys coming by. Like the video if you will. Subscribe to the page and hit the bell so you're notified next time I post a video. And blessings to my channel members and to my patrons. May you have many wives. Links in the description below. So, in this video, I am going to showcase my necromancer, but not just any necromancer. This is a new necromancer because my droid kind of sucked big you-know-what. I got him to level 50, and I got my ass kicked in the capstone dungeon. I killed all the knights, the remnant knights, and then I killed the three little bosses, and then I killed all the enemies, right? So I made it to the fourth tier of it, the last boss, and I got slaughtered by him. So I only tried it once, but uh, nonetheless, I don't have a single aspect imprinted on any part of his gear. Not using a single aspect from the dungeons or gear, so I mean, <clears throat> I probably need to make some revisions, but that's fine. What I wanted was my homes, my hombres, and uh, that's really what I missed out on. Because I kind of went into the summon droid, <coughs> or the droid rather, thinking I could maybe be a summon droid later, somehow, some way. But of course, the minions, the companions, their passive damage is just horrible. It's nothing like the Necromancer. Granted, they nerfed the Necromancer's uh, skeletal warrior life, to my understanding, compared to the beta, where they die a bit more frequently. But I decided to try it out anyway, and so far, it's been great. And I can have five warriors out right now, and three mages, and it's been a damn good time. But I mean, here's my character. I don't have anything cool in terms of gear. Level 17. And here's the one piece that I did find. Or I imprinted this from a dungeon. And I was already using Blood Surge. So this is great. Blood Surge's Nova echoes again after a short delay. Dealing 70% less damage. So it's actually doing less damage than your first one, of course, but it's just a free additional Nova and uh, it still does some damage. So it looks like uh, if you get this on gear, you could have it uh, as low as 60% less damage, which would of course be better. But check this out. Here's what it looks like. In effect, I'll cast it just one time. Yep. Two explosions. So pretty good. And I'll show you what I have going on with this character thus far. Have my homes. My hombres following me. And they actually do pretty good damage. And uh, I'm using Iron Maiden. Right here. That's right, a classic Diablo 2 skill. Oh, and look at this. They can actually kill shit. Uh, they're doing a pretty damn good job. With those lesser enemies. If these were the droid companions, they would still be fighting them. Not even messing around. And of course, only like two of them uh, took the battle right there. So, how much better must it be when more than two decide to fight? But basically, I cast the Iron Maiden. Look at that, just a couple hits. Oh my god! Yeah, this is awesome. And I'm kind of trying to avoid a Corpse Explosion build. Because Corpse Explosion, to my understanding, is just what everybody does. It's what I did in the beta. It's all centered around corpse explosion, just popping shit all over the place. And I wanted to focus on something a bit different. Maybe some sort of melee uh, summon hybrid. And that's what I wanted to showcase in this video. The skill Reap, which is one of your basic skills to my understanding. Is that what they're called? Let's verify that. Basic skills, your spirit generators. Because... Back in Diablo 2, I always wanted to play as a sort of necromancer that carried a massive scythe, whose minions were very viable, but yet you would swing that shit around and just kill things as well. But of course in Diablo 2, no such thing exists, because it's just not viable at all. Nobody ever swings the damn scythe while playing as a necromancer. In fact, necromancers don't even wield the scythes. Even though in the artwork, 
for Diablo 2, you'd see a necromancer with a big-ass scythe, but it's just not a thing. In Project Diablo 2, the mod, of course, they made them a bit more viable. Uh, well, not the scythe necromancer, but the summon necromancer, but even with that, uh, there's not like a sort of scythe-swinging summon necromancer, just that I envisioned. So that's part of what got me excited for Diablo 4, when I knew they were going to make this stuff viable. So you could have your homies, you could swing your weapon around and check this out. It's actually a very big swing. And it looks a lot better when you actually have a scythe in hand. Like in this case, I just have some two-handed sword. But I think as the game progresses, I'm going to be finding scythes. And I'm going to be finding unique or legendary scythes, rather, and hopefully a unique scythe. But legendary scythes at the least, which uh, are all catered, I believe, toward Necromancer. So I'll probably be using it, so it's just going to uh, look even more... It's just going to mesh better when they swing their weapon. It's ju it just looks like the scythe extends when they're actually wielding a big-ass scythe. Now, these are this is a one-handed one, unfortunately, so it's not going to look as cool, but see this? It looks like it just extends or something. So the visual is a lot better when you have a scythe in hand, but for damage purposes, I'm going to put back on the sword. But let me showcase now a bit of what I've been doing. So you go up to them and you scythe them, and I have a mod on it where it actually can spawn a, a corpse, which is what you're seeing here, which would be, uh, be a great synergy if I were Corpse Explosion, but I'm kind of trying to avoid it. And I actually do a Blood Nova. Uh, just an epic build, I just I love having the homies. And it's just not something that uh, with any reason could be viable with the droid. And I, I, of course, am playing as a storm droid. I'm going to go back to him and uh, make more videos on him and play him some more. But as of right now, I've just been wanting to level up a Necromancer. And uh, I don't think I'm going to uh, get sick of this anytime too soon. Uh, just all sorts of customization with the Book of the Dead. Uh, you can mess around with all these mods and the Reapers or whatever else. Skeletal Mages. I'm looking forward to trying the Cold Mages and even the Bone Mages for that matter. But so what I'm using to allow this fantasy to come to fruition, the whole swinging scythe summon-oriented necromancer, is again the skill Reap, which is a basic darkness skill, which is very important to remember. Uh, that it's a darkness skill, because those are uh, things you, 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 I want to synergize the darkness aspect of it through my passives, uh, hopefully through Paragon and through gear as well. And I already have one or two synergies working through the build in terms of uh, the skill points that I've invested. Generates four essence per enemy hit. And as you guys can see, it has a massive reach. So you can hit a lot of enemies at once. Sweep an ethereal scythe in front of you, dealing 40 to 50 damage. Hitting an enemy with reap increases your damage reduction by 15% for two seconds. So it works very well in that it's uh, an up close and personal skill. You got to get up in day's grill. So it only makes sense that uh, it's going to have some sort of defensive measure about it, which is great because it does. And then I have it modified two different times. Enhanced reap. If an enemy hit by Reap dies within two seconds, you gain 30% attack speed for three seconds. So the faster you kill shit, the faster you attack. It's just great synergy. Acolytes Reap. Reap forms a corpse under the first enemy hit. Can only occur every five seconds. And even if you're a summoner, the corpses are good because when you hit the active effect, this is what it does. Once all of your skeletons have been summoned, Ray's skeleton briefly summons a skeletal priest to empower your minions for five seconds, increasing their damage by 20% and healing them for 10% of their maximum life. So basically, you can just keep summoning the corpses or summoning that priest. See the priest pop out of it? And he, bu he uh, buffs all your minions and gives them 10% life. So you can fill up their life if they're getting their asses kicked against a boss or something, and you could continually uh, reap corpses from him with the uh, synergy I have on this scythe mod, where uh, I think there's a chance it could reap a corpse, right? 
Reap forms a corpse under the first enemy hit. Can only occur every five seconds. So then every five seconds, I'm able to do that. Uh, which is a perfect synergy, because the priest empowers them for a total of five seconds. So you, cut, you can constantly empower them as you're fighting a boss. But there's a lot more to showcase with this build, and I have a ways to go, so I'm looking forward to uh, experiencing the Necromancer more. Here's like an invulnerable skill that I have that actually damages them, and it has a uh, 21 second cooldown it looks like. Uh, kind of tight quarters here, but I'm not too far from getting the Golem as well, so that's going to be a great addition. And uh, I'm really looking forward to experiencing some later in endgame stuff with the Necromancer. And as for the droid, uh, as I mentioned, I am going to go back to him, but uh, I'm going to try this out for now. So I appreciate you guys watching the video. If you will, like the video, hit the thumbs up button. Let me know where you are in Diablo 4 so far. What has been your favorite class in build thus far from what you have experienced? And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace be with you.